All right, welcome. This is uh, our class recap video for our intermediate, intermediate Lindy Hop workshop at the Metronome on May 18th. My name is Nathan. This is Miriam here. Uh, we first workshop was six counts versus eight counts to demystify the difference. Um, so first things we worked on were disconnection. We talked about how um, we connect this arm to our partner's back and that we don't just touch, but leaders, we can increase the connection by shifting our whole body this way in opposition to our partner. And we hold it back. And, or I can decrease the connection by moving away from my partner. And my partner, she can also decrease the connection by moving backwards. Okay? Or decrease the connection by moving forward. Okay, that's number one. Number two is that we talked about followers putting yourself in the sweet spot of the leader's back. You can find it by kind of rocking back and forth here. Most comfortable. Okay? Leaders, we can take that arm and kind of turn our partner, once we turn, if she stays connected, we can turn her in or away from us. Okay, also, we want to have a ziplock connection here so the follower's weight of her body and her arm is connecting with the ground and pressing a little bit into the leader's arm so that the leader's arm is a little bit like a trailer. Okay? From here, we've talked a little bit about, um, we gave you some patterns to help you practice the difference between six and eights. There was a slingshot for the follower, sending her out and following. Send her away, stretch and follow. Or the leader's slingshot. Or we get in front. Wow. We okay. These are six counts. We had an eight count version, which is the yo yo, where we send our partner and let her get away. And we hold back leaders and use the stretch, stretch to bring her back. Or the leader's yo yo, where the leader's going to move away and stretch. You might want to stay close so that you have some room to take the stretch. And then we can mix and match without telling our partner what we're doing, but using our body to communicate whether we're doing six or eight. Okay, so hopefully we'll give you some examples of the different directions we could take that. Um, also, we talked about the balance in close position. We did this exercise here where, first of all, just our body, lower body is a spring, upper body is a weight. We lift that weight off the ground and then just drop it onto the spring and let our bounce have some ripple effect there. Okay, then we use that bounce to make the triple step. Lift, triple step. Lift, triple step. Lift, triple step. We can do that demo here with our partner here. I'm gonna lift, she's on the spring, I lift up a little bit, and then set her back down, and then it's a triple step. Well, how about that? Okay. If we do it in a closed position, here we are. Here's the tray she's putting herself on so that if we stop on her knees and have a lift, wow, how about that? There's a triple step. Lift, triple step. Or we can have just weight changes. And triple step is that little preparation up that gives us our bounce down and the triple step. So we can just practice doing that when we do our six count basic. Wa, ba, and triple step, and triple step, making that bounce a little more dramatic. And triple step, or an eight count. And triple step, 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 and triple step, wa, ba. So right now we're really exaggerating the lift, but ultimately we just want that to be part of our Good. And then I think we spent some time mixing and matching that six count basic in place, triple step, and triple step with a Lindy circle, triple with all our yo yo's, and swing shots. So mix and match those, have fun practicing, and uh, good.